Hey guys, in this video I'll be analyzing the top 3 at the 2008 Mr. Olympia. This was the year where Dexter Jackson dethroned Jay Cutler, taking his first and sole Olympia win. This was also Phil Heath's Olympia debut where he took 3rd place. I've heard a lot of people saying that Jay should have won or that Phil should have won and beaten both Jay and Dexter, so I thought it would be interesting to see uh, you know, what really happened and break down the poses. I'll be giving the winner of each pose 3 points, 2nd 2, and 3rd place 1. However, keep in mind that the pictures are only a small part of the story and don't necessarily represent exactly what happened. Now before the video does start, if you guys enjoy my content, a like and sub would really help out the channel. With that all being said, let's get into this video. The front double is a very good pose for all three of them right off the bat. They all present huge and separated arms, large and defined quads, and great V tapers. Phil and Dexter are the two that immediately stand out to me as Dexter's symmetry and clean lines are extremely aesthetic, while Phil's bubbliness, size, and dry separation look impeccable. Jay is the least impressive here as his biceps are asymmetrical and his waist is the widest. Additionally, his left and right quads show a visible difference in size, which throws off his flow ever so slightly. Dexter and Phil both have more symmetrical arms and quads, smaller midsections, and are more aesthetically pleasing, but, you know, Jay is a bit wider. Now, between Phil and Dexter, I'd say that Phil has a slight edge. His quads are larger and just as separated with better calves, and his arms show more detail. While Dexter does battle in the arms and destroys both Phil and Jay when talking about the midsection, Phil looks too massive and carves an even more impressive outline in my opinion. The front lat spread is actually a really interesting pose as Phil looks to be presenting his best ever front lat spread. Although he is more narrow than both Dexter and Jay, it is seemingly not a problem as one could argue that he is beating Dexter and challenging Jay for the win. His lats are clearly better than Dexter's, his quads are fuller and just as ripped, and he has larger arms and a thicker chest. While it is true that he would lose from an aesthetic standpoint, he certainly could have won against Dexter on a muscularity basis. Between the two though, I'd probably go with Dexter over Phil, and I know that sounds contradictory, however Dexter looks more aesthetic and doesn't really lose too much ground in terms of muscularity. Although Jay isn't as conditioned in the chest or arms as the other two, his width and size is overwhelming in my opinion. His lats perfectly fill out the pose, his shoulders are ultra wide, his quads showcase the deepest separation as well, and he looks really good in terms of the overall silhouette. While it is definitely close between Dexter and Jay, I think those aforementioned attributes are enough for Jay to take the pose. The side chest might just be a blowout shot for Phil as his upper body from the side shows so much roundness and fullness compared to the other two. His arm and delt are clearly the best, his midsection shows the most detail, his chest has incredible separation and density, and moreover, his side leg shows some incredible separation too and definitely helps him create a great shot. Dexter looks equally as impressive with his signature conditioning, and he shows the most detail in the side leg and has the most streamlined midsection. It seems like Jay is the biggest one here, presenting the largest side leg, and an incredibly thick chest along with a huge arm and delt, and a tight midsection as well. He does look a little bit smooth in the upper leg and arm, which does hold him back against the other two. If I had to choose a winner here, I'd definitely go with Phil for his 3D freakiness and amazing conditioning. In second, I'd go with Jay for his mass, which is a little bit of, you know, it's too much for Dexter to handle in my opinion, that's what I was trying to say. And in a close third, I'd go with Dexter, of course. Second and third places are definitely close and could go to either one. However, I feel like Phil is definitely winning this pose and it's a no-brainer in my opinion. Moving to the back poses, we have the rear double, and this one is definitely a close pose. All three have great backs, lower bodies, and arms, but none are perfect. Dexter looks to have incredible width and the smallest midsection, however his back lacks the thickness and depth that both Phil and Jay present. Phil has some insane arms, great overall back development, and probably the best lower body in terms of conditioning, however he needs more size and depth to the back. In my opinion, Jay has the best back due to his thickness, width, and conditioning, however his lack of lower back makes the gap between the other two much smaller. His lower body conditioning also leaves much to be desired, as his hamstrings and glutes somehow look soft yet dry at the same time. I know many of you would probably give this one to Phil for his superior conditioning, however I'm going to go with Jay here. His arms are just as big and his back, you know, it has superior conditioning in my opinion. Look at the striations and the traps, things like that. Moreover, his legs, while not as ripped, are still in decent condition and are massive, and the only real knock on him is that lack of lower back. 
In second, I'd probably go with Phil for his superior back development and better lower body compared to Dexter, however, Dexter wouldn't be too far behind Phil in my opinion. The rear lat spread isn't really an impressive post for anyone as all three aren't too amazing. That being said, Dexter immediately draws my attention as although he isn't the biggest, his back is the most defined and conditioned and that Christmas tree really stands out. Both Phil and Jay look a bit lackluster in the backs as Jay's traps and lower body look washed out, while Phil lacks a lot of width. Phil does, you know, he still presents that amazing lower body. However, Dexter's conditioning isn't that far behind and is much better than Jay's. I think Dexter would actually take this pose as Phil looks bottom heavy and Jay looks extremely smooth in the back, but he is still massive. Dexter is clearly the most polished and complete, so I think he does deserve the win. Between Phil and Jay, I do think that Jay would slightly win as Jay's width and size is a little too much for the more conditioned but smaller Phil. There definitely is an argument for Phil beating Jay due to his superior conditioning, however I firmly believe that Dexter is winning this pose. The side tricep is probably the best pose we've seen so far as all three look phenomenal. All of them have tight and streamlined midsections, great triceps and arms, conditioned side legs, and aesthetic presentation. Phil is the one that immediately impresses me the most due to his tricep being the only one with complete feathering, something that is rarely seen. He probably has the best tricep and arm out of the three, as the only one that stands out, you know, in terms of toe-to-toe -to -toe size with him is Jay. However, Jay's arm conditioning isn't as crisp. Dexter's arm is sort of lackluster here, as it looks small in comparison to the other two. There's no doubt that he looks aesthetic and good alone, however, he doesn't beat anyone anywhere really, apart from maybe the midsection, but that is debatable since Jay looks just as good. If anything, I'd probably have to put him last here, as he is the least impressive relative to Jay and Phil, who are, you know, more massive. For the win, I'm going to give Phil the pose with Jay close behind, as Phil's tricep chest fullness and impressive hamstring drop put him over the edge. Jay looks great too, having a better midsection, a wider frame, and a huge arm, however his conditioning isn't on par with Phil in this pose. The ab and thigh is definitely the pose where Dexter is the most impressive, as his midsection looks ridiculously tiny and his lats flare out the most. Additionally, his abs are clearly the most aesthetic, being completely symmetrical and his quads look ripped and separated. i definitely have him taking this one for the midsection alone, however his overall x-frame and shape are also there which helps him create a really good pose and helps him win the pose convincingly. Phil and Jay do look pretty good here as well, with Phil having the smaller midsection and fuller looking quads, and Jay having the better abs and those amazing feathered quads. Phil seems to have a better V-taper thanks to those lats and small midsection, however he does look a little bit narrow. Jay doesn't have the best V-taper, somehow looking a little bit like a fridge or a brick, however he does have more aesthetic abs in my opinion which I know will kind of be controversial, and his quads do look better thanks to those amazing feathered striations and all those little details. He also has a wider structure that makes him look a little bit more imposing, however Phil's aesthetics are no joke. I've said this before and I'll say it again, I'm a pretty big fan of Jay's ab and thigh, however Phil's earlier physique and just overall, yeah overall his earlier physiques had pretty good midsections with no real distension, so although I do prefer Jay, I objectively think that Phil would win this one as his V-taper is superior and his abs are technically more symmetrical. The most muscular is a great pose for all three, honestly an underrated one for Dexter who I feel has one of the best in the history of this pose. His traps are so freaky, his arms and delts are so thick and dense, and he looks extremely ripped everywhere. His only real weakness is the fact that he's going up against Phil and Jay who are more muscular, something that really does matter in this pose. Jay is probably the least conditioned here, showing the shallowest separation in the chest and arms. However, his wide clavicles, huge arms, and broad chest all help him create a very classical and aesthetic looking most muscular. That being said, when I look at Phil, I realize that it's game over. He is so much rounder in the chest and delts than the other two, his arms are insane and so large and his entire physique is just pure muscle. By far the thickest and most dense, and coupled with his crazy conditioning, it is clear as to why he would win this pose. I would definitely give this one to Phil, with Jay in second and Dexter in third. Alright guys, that about does it for this video. In summary, I had Phil winning this comparison with 18 points, Jay in second with 16, and Dexter in third with 14. Before anyone says anything, remember that pictures can't clearly tell the entire story, Maybe Phil was letting his midsection go all over the place and the judges penalized him, or maybe his posing was off. The same can be said for Jay as well. 
The results are purely based on these pictures and this comparison, not any video footage or anything like that, although I did use video footage to scale the pictures. But these pictures, and you looking at these pictures rather, it is clear that Phil would have won. While Jay was certainly not at 100% here, I think he was definitely good enough to beat Dexter or even win, however, politics could have certainly prevented him from winning. This is because the judges disliked the fact that he came in off two years in a row. However, I personally don't think he was too off in my opinion. Now, for Dexter, I think he did look good alone. However, Phil and Jay were clearly bigger and more muscular, and Phil had a similar level of conditioning and comparable lines. It is quite possible that the IFBB didn't want someone to win at their Olympia debut. However, I guess we'll never really know. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this analysis, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.